Hello and welcome back to the journal series. So, if you guys remember correctly, we've got paper towels, well not paper towels, but we've got napkins on the back of our papers, but now we need to trim our papers down. So that's where we're going to start today. So, I just have my paper trimmer out, and we're, I'm going to hope that this cuts through the plastic all right. I'm not sure if it will or not. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to flip it over just so I can see the edge here. Um, I don't know what, actually, you know what? Ugh. Might be better to do it this way, because I know that it's supposed to be nine inches long, or tall, rather. And this might be easier with scissors. I don't know. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, well, yeah, my trimmer doesn't really like cutting through this plastic. Let's do it this way. See if this is any better. Alright, so we're going to come over here. Line this up with the nine. And maybe that might work. Nope. Scissors it is. Let go. Alright. We tried the trimmer. The trimmer doesn't work. At least not for that. It does not like cutting the, the thingy. And I have another trimmer, but we'll just use the scissors. Alright, so I'm just going to go along here. And I'm sitting back down, so I'm probably not yelling at you guys anymore. Actually, I want, uh, I don't know. Normally what I do with the napkins is this really cool, um, I don't even know where I got it from. I think I just tried it one day and it worked. So I have a fingernail file here. And I'll go through the edges. And... I will, yep, sure enough, I will just file the edges like so. And it also, it will also give your paper a really cool like edge instead of being quite so smooth. That's another technique you can use to age your papers. Um, I've done that several times. Um, Cause I use a lot of like aging techniques um, a pretty common known one is to ink your papers, you know, but, um, yeah, I'll use sandpaper, file, um, really whatever. So I'm just going to go through here and slice up the edges here. And I'm just going on the other side. Um, like I'm going underneath it just slightly, um, folding the edge down and file it, file it away. And then peel it back. If it comes off, then great. If not, then just keep filing until it does. Now this is, this is one technique that you could use or you could just use your scissors. Um, I might just use the scissors. Be, I'll finish this one with the file just so it's like all the same. But I don't want it, um, I think it might be a little loud for you guys. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so, what were we talking about last time? Um, talking about my husband coming home from work. Just talking about, oh, Game of Thrones. I like that show. It's coming on. I think it's, it's the last season, and that comes out April something. I don't know. piece that might be loose a little bit, you can tack it down with some glue. Like there's a 
tiny little piece that's loose right there. I'll go ahead and fix that. And I did empty my trash bucket. So now it's nice and not filled up. Is it this supposed to be blue? It says magic blue, but it's white. Oh, it's just not melted down, that's all. Alright. All fixed. So, that's the sheet of paper. Isn't that cool? Uh, light. So, we'll either go this way or this way. I might do it this way, actually, because I like that a lot. So, we'll go ahead and fold that. And then we have our first cover. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? All right, next. And so we have 10 of these to do. So I'm just gonna go through here and I'm gonna trim these up. Uh, yeah, this is much quicker and much quieter than a fingernail file. So really whichever technique you choose is good. Um, if you have a tr uh, if you have a trimmer that's not quite so temperamental, you might can try that too. Mine doesn't like it. And I just I have a Fiskars rotary trimmer. Keep seeing cars go by out my window. It's distracting. This is a pretty cool technique though with the whole plastic. I'd never tried it before, but I like it. It's quite quick. Alright, so there's that one. And then there's that one. Um I might do that. I kinda like this napkins. Alright, we're gonna fold that in half. Like so. There we go. Now we have two covers. Okay. Next. Uh, now my scissors aren't cooperating. Oh yeah, so I was talking about um, like different shows that I like to watch just to kind of get you guys to get to know me a little bit better, I guess. Um, I do also like um, like reality TV as well. Not a lot of it. Some of it is just kind of dumb to me. Um, but one of my favorites is um, Survivor and Big Brother. Um, I think they're they're both they're different from each other. But they have a lot of similarities as well. Like being stuck with that many people um, is interesting. Um, I do like Survivor. I've watched a lot of seasons of Survivor. Um, I've watched a few of The Big Brother. Not a whole, whole lot. I like that one. Yeah, I like that, that one. wood grain is so pretty. Oh, these turned out really cool. Um, uh, let's see. What other ones have I? Oh, that one came loose. We're just going to tuck that down real quick while we're sitting here. Yeah. I guess that's one of the things when you iron it, you gotta make sure 
that you iron it really, really well. So otherwise, it'll come loose. I'm gonna start on another corner and make, let that one kind of adhere. But yeah, I like all kinds of shows. Um, uh, let's see, another one. I liked American Idol before it like changed. Now it's just, I don't know, it seems different. I did watch um, part of the new series, or the new season that came out uh, last year, was it, maybe? I don't know. But I just, I don't know, it just, it didn't feel the same to me. It felt weird. So, didn't watch that one. Actually, I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> That's like my, my entertainment is YouTube. like doing challenges as well I think that's fun it's, um, it's nice because it kind of gets your creative juices flowing if you will I'm definitely going to save that piece right there. Should probably flip this over and do it the other direction, but. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, man. Gosh, that turned out so cool. I'm going to put that with the other napkins that I'm going to use for embellishments right there. Oh, this actually seems to work easier flipped upside down like this. a lot faster. pleased with this little technique like this is this is nice and I said in the last video that I had seen it um, miss from Miss Gail because like I said I've been watching a lot of her videos lately because I just found her um, and anyway she did say in her video that this was also not her idea that she had found it from somewhere and I do not remember who she said she got it from. Oh, this one's right on the edge. I'll have to flip this upside down. There we go. Okay. I'm 
filling up my treasure bag again. So which one do I like? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice too. Mm. I think... one. This one's the one where the basket's upside down. And I can show you guys how to treat this paper so it's not quite so white. Um, there's a couple things you could do to it. You could spray it like with, um, with coffee. Um, you could like ink it. Like use your ink pad and just smear it all over it. Um, ooh, you could emboss it. That, ooh, I might do that. I'll just have to remember. Because I'm going to say I'm going to do it right now, and then I'm going to forget, and then probably not do it. But I bet that would be cool. But, actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to emboss it, because, um, this paper's not going to fit in my machine. Like, my machine's only, like, that big. Well, the, the space for it is only that big. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this side. Like that. Oh. I missed a corner. It's like, why is that not lined up? Because I missed a corner. Is so pretty yes and yes because we're gonna um, some of the covers we can decorate and make even more pretty look at I like that I do like this pattern too and again I like all these I mean they're nice um, a lot of these napkins I got from Tuesday morning either here, because I did go to Tuesday morning recently here, or Tuesday morning in Washington. This is really quite neat. I just, I don't know, I just can't get over this. This is really, really cool. This, this whole technique is just really, really cool. I like the eggs. I think we're going to use the eggs. Okay. Next. Our little bunny. Little buddy friend. Plastic did not want to let go.
doesn't want to let go of this one. All right. And then this one, we'll have our cute little bunny friend on the outside and on the inside. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh. Oh, I love it. So like I said, all of these journals are Easter spring themed. Um, so there will be bunnies and flowers. So the plastic didn't stay connected to that one. I might have to take my contacts out. My contacts are getting dry. I'm like having to blink my eyeballs like a thousand times. Hey, get over. Really? are our covers for our journals. So we've got that one, and 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 that one with some plastic still attached, <laughs> and that one, and that one, and that one. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to measure these because we want to make sure that all of our inserts that go are going in these are going to fit in these. So I am going to grab my measure, also known as a ruler, and this sits at five inches, which sounds about right since we cut it to 10 inches. So this one is at nine inches. So they are nine high, five wide. So anything that we cut to be folded in here needs to be, I'm going to make it at eight and a half. That'll give it a quarter inch on the top and the bottom of um, some, like some leeway, some wiggle room. And then the, these pieces here that fold here, I'm gonna probably cut those at maybe eight and a half because I want to make sure that I want to make sure that even when I fold them together um, so like if you have a lot of pieces that you're putting together let's just pretend these are pages for a moment and this is only 10 pieces of paper mind you so we're gonna stack 10 pieces of paper in here and now, instead of being five wide, it is almost five and a half wide. It's like five and, oh, excuse me, it's five and three eighths. Yeah, because four eighths is half. So, yeah, about three eighths. So, it just added. Uh, a little more than a quarter of an inch to your pages by just just by putting them together so we definitely want to make sure that when we're cutting our papers we are giving some leeway to the fact that we're adding a lot to it um, so I'm thinking that if we cut it down 
to nine inches across and we fold it in half, that'll give us four and a half inches this way. So that should, even when we stack them together, that should give us lots of clearance for the edge of the journal. Um, so, yeah, next thing we do is we just start getting pages together. So we have our covers. We're gonna set those aside real quick and I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff to, for papers. So we do have, come in. We do have this paper. So I do want to use some of this paper. So I'm gonna put one page in each journal. So there's one. Uh, I'm not sure I like that for the journaling. There's two. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ugh, I don't want to use that one. I'd rather use this again. Actually, it's not going to matter because I just won't put it in the same journal that the cover is. So, hello. I just hit my light bulb. All right, so we're going to take our pages and we're going to cut all these down to size. Before we do that, we're going to keep gathering materials. So, I have over here a, a bucket of coffee dud stuff. So let's start digging in here. So we're going to need 10 pages of this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just making sure the pages are good. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so that's done. We don't need that anymore. Um, do I have ten glassine bags? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Oh, that one's kind of coming apart. Ten. Let me double check these other ones. Because I don't want to give you bags that came unglued. Because sometimes when you coffee dye, the, um, the glue likes to come apart. I do not have 10 envelopes, I only have two. I only have two left. Because I created my journal kits and I used these coffee dyed um, envelopes in there as well. Ooh, that'll be fun to play with. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's set those aside. All right, uh, what else we got in here? I need to do more coffee done. I actually just placed an order. I'm going to set this aside because I want to play with that. I love this stuff. This is just white crepe paper that I coffee dyed. And that stuff is amazing. I love it. Alright, add some envelopes again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got that. Um, all right, set that aside. Uh, I only have one parchment, so we're not gonna do that one. 
and some doilies. All right, ooh, an egg and a, a part of an egg. So we'll do both of those. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, actually, could probably do these pink ones. I kind of want to do those in a couple of them. Mm, I really do want to put these in at least a couple of them. Maybe we'll just put them over here for the ephemera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. So there's that. And then these are also cupcake liners, but they're just bigger pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, so this is our ephemera pile that we're going to play with. And then this is our pages pile. I don't think I have enough tracing paper. Um, right. uh, so this is some legit, or not legit paper, but this is some line paper, um, antique line paper that I coffee dyed. But when I did, the lines came off. So I was like, ah, I'm not doing that again. Um, I just want to make sure that this is all just paper. Ooh, I, oh, I do have enough tracing paper. <gasps> Yay. Okay, let's do these straight just first. One, one, two, three, four, uh, not that one. Uh, five, six, seven, 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 seven. Eight, nine, ten. So I'm just pulling the ones out over here um, that are torn. Like, I mean, I, I get that some people like the torn pages, but I am selling these journals, so I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to put them in there. Um, and then this is the tracing paper. So one, two, uh, three. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so there's the tracing paper. All right, I don't have enough napkins and the paper towels that I I was using. Um. I know I don't have enough. I have one, two, three, four. And I use Viva, um, and they hold up really well, especially through all the, the crap that I put them through with coffee dyeing. Some more envelopes. Um, let's see, what else do I got down here? Oh, I don't have enough music sheets either. One, two, three, four, I have four of these envelopes. I don't know if I have enough of those. Let's see here. Oh, I do have enough music sheets. Maybe. One, two, two. No, I have two. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Even if I counted this one as a music sheet, which I wouldn't, I still only have seven. Well, poop. I need to do more coffee dyeing. Oh, and I did get um, some file folders at the thrift store today, and um, so I can better separate this stuff. Oh, that's kind of neat. Ooh, I actually might be able to use that. Let's see. 
I don't know if I want to use these because, like I said, they um, they don't hold their glue very well, and that one did. Uh -uh, not so much. I don't know. I might be able to figure something out with that. All right. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these apart because whatever I do with them is gonna be where they are separate, like not an actual envelope. So I'm gonna set those aside. I wonder. That might be fun. So I was thinking, like, taking these tabs off completely, folding it in half, and having, like, that be a little insert. And then I'll figure something out with them. But I'll set those aside. All right, so that's it. That's all of my coffee dyeing stuff. Like I said, I've got, I've got to do more. But it's just, it's painstaking for me because, um, like, I can't really stand for that long. Like, I can walk around all day long, but standing in one spot for hours on end is really, really bad for my back. And I have really bad back issues anyway, which is really, really crappy because I, <laughs> I don't feel like I'm that old, but my back has other ideas of how old I am. Just saying. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just, I can't do it. So... I've actually been buying some coffee dyed papers, um, support your local Etsy shops, and it saves me on time and pain. Because every single time I do coffee dyeing, I have to take my muscle relaxers every time. Um, I normally don't take them, like at all. But when I do the coffee dyeing, I have to. So we have one page here. Uh, this will be an insert, so two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so how many pages do we want to put in here? I think, let's see, you think 15 would be a good number, a good round number? I think 15 would be a good round number. Um, yeah. So what I say, seven? All right, let's go and grab some, some sum sums um, to add to the journal. We'll add that and we'll add a couple of these. Okay. All right, so seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to take this apart or use this. Uh, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. All right. recently found this thing at the Salvation Army, which was really cool. Ugh, I keep stepping on this plastic that I throw on the floor instead of throwing in my, my trash thingy, because I did a, a haul video recently, and I threw it on the floor. All right, let's see. What else we got over here? Uh, Be fun. I'm just over here looking through my my stuff that I can add to journals and such.
and some of it stuck in my bookshelf. My bookshelves are way too full. Okay. All right. So, now that I've left you to your own devices. Okay. So, this is just paper. Um, but it is in a signature, so I can take it apart. And one, two, three, four. Of course, I need another one. All right, so we're gonna take those apart. That'll be 10. Um, this is some stuff that I found at a local used bookstore. Um, and this is from 1989. These two are. And we'll just grab a couple pages out of here as soon as I find the middle. There we go. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That can't be right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? <sighs> well, I'll just open this up and then I will use a couple pages from the other one that way. Um, well, I don't know if y'all maybe want the cover. I'm not sure. But I will take this out of here, like so, and I just took the staples out so it's easier to get to, and that way I'm not tearing the pages, and I'm giving somewhat whole pages, because they still have to be cut down, but I don't know, that page isn't too bad, I think I might, oh, look at that, uh oh, yeah, I don't know that I'll be able to do this one anyway, because it seems to be glued. Okay, well, that answers that question. So, instead of nine, there's seven. So there's seven. And then find the middle of this one. Seven. Oi. have more of these if, if it turns out that the other pieces have glued pieces on them too. This is a Reader's Digest that I've not dug into yet. This is just happens to be falling apart. Um, this one is from 1946. So this is this is vintage. A legitimate vintage. Um and legitimately doesn't want to come apart. <laughs> I did not use that word right, but that's okay. All right, open, o open, open. Nope, okay. All right, let's try this route. All right, <laughs> gotcha. Look up. Oh, come on. I'm 
does I want to gun out? Ow. Came out. <laughs> and stabbed me. Well, it didn't actually stab me. It just poked me a little. Um, alright. Uh, alright. Now. Goodness gracious. Okay, so. Oh, and this has even got some writing on it. That's cool. Alright. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. Uh, we have ten journals. Eight, eight, nine, ten pages of Reader's Digest from 1940-something. What did I say? Forty-six. Alright, set that aside. This one is from... Um, do I have a date on here? Um, I'm looking for a date, but I don't see one. Um, I don't know. It's old as dirt. How about that? Does that work? Oh, Contents of St. Nicholas for April 1919. So this one's even older than the last one. Um, where'd my thing go? There it is. Alright, so... Now... And you gotta be real careful with these because they are very rusty. So... If you're doing this, please, like, Please be careful. I'm just not my coming part. All right, I uh, might be able to wiggle that around. Like you can see the rest over here, just like. That's how rusty it is. It just broke. Alright. Yep, that one just broke too. And that's alright. I don't need it to be in one piece. I just need it to come off a little bit. So I can dig these signatures out. I'm just going to fold this back and forth a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my jeez. Alright, that one doesn't want to come out. Okay, I'm going to see if I can pop off one signature at a time. Alright. Oh, it would help if they're going the right direction. Alright, um... Alright, there we go. Got one. Ah, oh, got another one. Okay. Next. Is this gonna come out at all? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I don't think I have any pliers in this room. That that would be very helpful if I had pliers. But I don't, well, I do, I do have pliers in this room, because I do, um, charms and such, but they are not very accessible. The problem is, is I don't really want to leave these like this. Alright, let's see. That help at all. Oh, gosh. Got that one. All right. Let's see if we can't get this one pried open. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I got it. Wow. 
that's how old this book is. Oh my gosh. So, I'm getting some new and you're getting some old. Some very old. Like I said, this book is from 1919. Very, very old. All right, so let's do our inserts. So don't want to use that one because it's like it's broken and whatnot. So we will do one, two, three, three. Four, four, five, six, seven. Okay, need one more. Oh my gosh, this glue is so hard. It like, it poked my hand and I thought it was that staple. Like this, that's the glue that was on the spine. It's so hard. And it poked my hand. And I was like, no! Because I thought that the staple poked me. And that would be bad because the staple or, or the staple is very rusty. Alright, so one, two, and three. Well, some of these have really cool pictures. I might swap these out. Let's see. These, I don't know though, because these have uh, advertisements or little tiny articles, which are really cool too. Mm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep those. Um, what did I say? One, two, three. Alright. There's that one. I'm going to put this one with this. And, oh. And for the date for you guys, um, it's right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yep. And there's the copyright way down there. Oh, is it going to focus in on that? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, so I don't spend an hour trying to focus in teeny tiny writing. Um, okay, so there's that. So we have 1946 Reader's Digest, 1989 Living in South Carolina pamphlet, and a, um, a short story book with uh, 1919. And I don't know if there's enough. Oh, there's definitely enough pages in this one. Uh, this one is a logarithms. Bunch of numbers and such. And this is from 1931. Alright, so we're going to take the staples out of this one too. Because that's what we do. Take staples out of stuff. As soon as we find the metal. Aha! Oh, these are really rusted too. Alright. Oh, okay. That wasn't very difficult. I haven't pulled them out yet. Alright. Oh, look at that. That was so much easier than the last book. But the last book was, to be fair, an actual book. It just didn't have the cover on it. Okay. My goodness gracious. Alright, so. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Ooh, almost got that whole thing. Look at that. There's only a couple pages left. That's all right. I have more. Well, not that particular book, but. And then this one, I think is kind of cool. Um, not sure how I'm going to do this because if I cut it in half and then fold it, it might be a little 
short. So I think what I want to do is fold it in. That way you get the whole page. I mean, you won't get the top because, um, or the bottom. Uh, I think I'll cut the bottom off. All right, one. Oh, this one is, I don't have a date on this. It's just a ledger book. It says made in USA, Wilson Jones Company. Uh, G7513 green is what it says. No date. Oh, yes, there is. I lied. 1967. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Is that nine? Nine and ten. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these out individually so I don't damage the paper. Awesome. Alright. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to fold those just yet. So, one, two, three, Nice, big old, huge column right col columnar pad is what this is. But there's the copyright down there. 1967. All right, set that down. Um, we'll do that in a minute. This is from, grab the book real quick. Wait. This book, which does not have a date on it either. Um, at least I don't think it has a date on it. Um, no, no date. Just a book full of lined paper. Um, nope, nothing on the spine either. So that's from that. All right, and then this is, ooh, that's kinda neat. I might use that. Alright, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, five. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. So there's that. So what did we say? Seven. So seven, eight, nine, nine. Uh, what did I do with the rest of them? Oh, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. So we're at 13 right now. So, oh, that actually works out perfectly. So 13, 14, and then 15. All right. So these guys, this is just from a ledger book that I found at a used bookstore. Actually, so I won't use these at all then because that'll put it uh, over 15. I think 15 is a good nice number. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so there's that. Um, 
And then this one here, let's see what's our time at. Oh, we're over an hour. All right. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short. Or it's not short, actually, because it's already over an hour. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. And then I'm going to continue and pick up with cutting this these stitches out. And then we're going to start cutting all this paper down to size. Okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching. And join me in the next video. Bye, guys.